The Meghalaya BJP is turning on the heat over its coalition partner, NPP. The Meghalaya BJP has demanded the arrest of State Minister James Sangma over his alleged involvement in illegal coal trade issue. Speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, Meghalaya BJP Vice President Bernard Marak said that Meghalaya Power Minister James Sangma should be arrested immediately if he is involved in illegal coal transportation of coal. And citing reports in a section of media in Assam, Marak said that if the accusations against the Meghalaya Power Minister are true, he should be immediately arrested. So indeed, the biggest news break of the day, viewers, the Meghalaya BJP is turning on the heat over its coalition partner, NPP. And well, the Meghalaya BJP has demanded the arrest of State Minister James Sangma over his alleged involvement in illegal coal trade issue. And while speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, a Meghalaya BJP Vice President Bernard Marak said that Meghalaya Power Minister James Sangma should be arrested immediately if he is involved in illegal coal transportation of coal. Citing reports in a section of media in Assam, Marak said that if the accusations against the Meghalaya Power Minister are true, he should be immediately arrested. BJP wants strong action against those involved in the illegal coal racket. Few days ago, Assam police has called some people who were involved in the illegal coal transportation to Assam. And it has been reported in Assam-based media that our power minister, Sri James K. Sama, is involved in some way. If it is true, he has, he has to be arrested immediately and put behind bars just like others because it is a violation of NGT norms and state has been losing a huge amount of revenue due to illegal transportation of coal. And if the ministers are not exemplary and if they're involved in the unlawful activities, there is no faith in the government. So law should be equal for all and he should be arrested if he's involved in any way. And notably, illegal transportation of coal issue from Meghalaya to certain parts of Assam has turned out to be thorn in the neck for the NPP-led MDA coalition in Meghalaya. While the MDA government continues to be on the denial mode on the allegations, the allegation of syndicate supply of coal to Assam led to James Sangma being stripped off the home portfolio earlier this year. Present Meghalaya Home Minister Lakman Rimbui was entrusted with the home portfolio in controversial circumstances when his predecessor, James Sangma's name figured in alleged smuggling of coal. The issue of illegal coal transportation in Meghalaya came to the limelight yet again after a team of Assam police had intercepted two coal-laden trucks and arrested five persons on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Meghalaya Home Minister Lakman Rimbui has uh, informed that he has sought a report over the allegations from state DGP R. Chandranath. You see, uh, as I said all along, I have told you all along, that uh, whatever allegation, so it is duty of the government to seek a report. So I myself, I also, I will... Uh, see uh, that uh, seek the report how whether the, those things is true or not that I have to seek a report on that I have not uh, I got any report so I'll seek a report on that Meanwhile another coalition partner of the MDA the United Democratic Party has also commented on the big issue Speaking to Northeast Life UDP President Medbal Lindo said that Chief Minister Conrad Sangma now has to take a call on the way forward on the issue. As far as uh, arrest, arrest any person, you know, first you have to come up with some charges, number one. Number two, you have to build up the case, you know, in what form exactly that you will be arresting a person. You can't just arrest a person for the sake of arresting only, that somebody is asking you. They may be right, they may be wrong, I don't know about it. But as far as the uh, procedure which has to be followed, I think the police department, the government has to follow those steps before arresting anyone. I, I don't have any say on this, as I have said very clearly, that let the chief minister take a call on this.
What is right, what is wrong? Whom to arrest, whom not to arrest? So when he takes a call, then uh, things will come up. And meanwhile, a civil society women's organization president, Agnes Kar Singh, who has been on the forefront in the fight against illegal coal mining and transportation, has demanded for an independent probe on the issue. She said that initiating a CBI probe would be the best option. Uh, I would say that uh, immediately it should be handed over to the CBI so that the reality everything will come out because there is a lot of destruction, a lot of leakage. They're hiding a lot of information. And uh, even when the NGT was there, the earlier NGT chairman was there, he had wanted to uh, do the GPS. You know, uh, if they have drones everywhere, why can they not use drones and see where is that coal? And I'm telling you, they are still digging now. The rat hole mines are still working. And um, if we need an independent inquiry, and the CBI should be handed over. Meghala BGP has come down heavily on the state government following reports appearing in Assam media about rampant illegal transportation of coal. Uh, Meghala BJP Vice President Mr. Bernard Marak in a statement has demanded from the state government to arrest uh, those whose name has appeared in the scam. And this name also inv involves names of some high-profile personalities. Meanwhile, Meghala Home Minister Lakman Rimbui has already sought a report into this. Now it remains to be seen how the Meghala government handles this situation. With camera person Francis Marbanyang, this is Russian Rai in Shillong for Northeast Live. All right, so indeed a bigger news at uh, this point in time where viewers will be joined by my colleague Roshan Rai live to get us more details on this particular story. Well, Roshan, James Sangma has once again come under fire due to the illegal coal mining in the state. Uh, so do you think uh, this has the potential to ruin the NPP-BJP alliance in Meghalaya? Well, uh, yes, of course, uh, all I can say at this moment is uh, that the uh, government is uh, in a tight spot. Uh, as we can see, one of its uh, uh, allies has already uh, demanded uh, the errors of uh, the, uh, those names which had featured uh, uh, in the uh, section of the Assam media uh, who busted the uh, illegal transportation of coal just re recently. Uh, and we've also seen um, uh, civil, uh, I mean, social activists like uh, Kong Agnes Karshing, who has been in the forefront in this fight against uh, illegal transportation of coal and coal mining, uh, straight on demanding for an uh, independent probe, uh, CBI to be uh, specific. Uh, yes, uh, so these are the things that are coming up uh, uh, at this uh, point in time. And yes, the government, uh, the Home Minister, Mr. Lakman Rimboy, has said uh, that they have sought in a report uh, from, the, uh, from the police department. And so all that is awaited at this moment is... Um, the report uh, they on uh, will know uh, where it moves forward. Nonetheless, not to forget, uh, even UDP, which is a very, very important constituent of the MDA coalition, uh, they have said now it depends, uh, the, the chief minister has to take a call how to take it forward uh, from here, which inquiry to be conducted or not conducted, how to go about our thing. So definitely concerns okay. are there uh, and it will definitely have a bearing uh, on the government. Well, Roshan, as, uh, even UDP has voiced its opinion in this matter. So what are the chances uh, that the matter is eventually given to a central agency like the CBI for a fair probe? Uh, yes, uh, that is what the demand is uh, at this uh, point in time, uh, like a social activist uh, uh, Kong Agnes has uh, come up uh, about it, and al also uh, the demand from the BJP to uh, arrest uh, those whose name has surfaced. Uh, whether, the, whether or not the government will go for a CBI inquiry, it's something uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, but yes, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the government has already so sought a report from the police department, uh, and what comes out of th that report uh, 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 will, uh, will tell us, at least uh, show us, uh, give us a view of the road ahead. Right, and uh, Roshan, has there been any news of talks or negotiations in this regard uh, among the MDA allies? So can such statements from two important allies uh, jeopardize the ruling MDA alliance in the state? 
Well, yes, concerns have been raised. Uh, if, if you look at it, BGP has been time and again uh, raising the issue on corruption. Uh, the first was the GHATC and the GHATC issue uh, uh, about uh, the, the, the central assistance grant that was given to them. So they had raised that issue, called for a, uh, their, their demand still stands. They have called for a CBI probe out here. Uh, right now, the BGP is asking for a uh, uh, arrest. Uh, they haven't uh, said whether they want a CBI inquiry into it or not. Uh, uh, so that is uh, left to be seen. But yes, uh, like I mentioned again, uh, Kong, uh, Agnes Kharshiang has already asked for a CBI probe. So which way it will go, we, we can't really say at this uh, point in time. But this much is sure that uh, the demand for inquiry is growing uh, louder. Uh, and yes, it is uh, a little uh, uh, difficult for the uh, MDA coalition as well, if we, if we look at it in one way, because uh, it's no one else but the allies coming up with all of these allegations and demand. All right. Thank you, Roshan, for giving us those details. So, indeed, this is a, a biggest news break of the day. The Meghalaya BGP is turning on the heat over its coalition partner, NPP, in Meghalaya. And the state BGP has demanded the arrest of State Minister James Sangma over his alleged involvement in illegal coal trade issue.